Good Friday morning, YouTube. It's been a while since I've uploaded uh, any content. And uh, I'll do a live stream tonight or tomorrow uh, to talk about why that is. And, uh, you know, I've said this in the past. Every now and then I'll go on a YouTube hiatus where I take a break for a month or two but, and then I come back. Sometimes I just have to do that. I just don't feel like filming. But I'll never, like I've, like I've also told you guys, I'll never leave y'all completely. Because I love, I love doing YouTube videos and I love interacting with you guys. But sometimes I just gotta have a break. And you know, sometimes family gets in the way, um, which is a big part of why I've been gone for the past couple months. Uh, also, you know, uh, the business is, is growing at a very rapid pace that I did not expect it to, which is a good thing, uh, but it's growing a lot faster than I thought it would. So that's, an, that's another reason. I've been extremely busy with work, but I do have a new camera, a new mount. So hopefully we'll be able to get more video from here on out. And, you know, there's just some, like, like I said, the past couple months, I've just been so swamped over with work. I just haven't had the time or the want to to take the camera out. So, but I was sitting around the house the other day, the other day watching some videos and realized how much I missed it, missed doing it. So... I'm gonna try to get back on track here with the uh, with the videos, and also, like I said, uh, today is May the seventh, I believe. Yeah, it's May the seventh, two thousand twenty-one. So, either tonight or tomorrow night, which will be May the eighth, I'll do a live stream, and we'll uh, we'll we'll go over where I've been and what I've been doing for the past couple months. So, anyway, I thought I would start uh, start off by uh, giving y'all a video. We're headed to a no cooling car right now. Uh, all she says is, it just she said the unit's running, but it's just not cooling. So, I don't know if she's talking about just the blower motors running or the whole system, but you know, we'll see when we get there. All right. You can hear the death buzz. The buzz of a con... Well, not death buzz, but the buzz of a contactor. So, we're going to kill that big disconnect. Oh, it was trying to start. We all know what that means. Okay. So, we got a... 40 plus 5 and you can look at it and see it's just barely got a little bulge to it but we'll go ahead and give her a test can't find anywhere to prop up my camera so we'll go We'll go common to fan. We should have five. We have nothing. Then we'll go common to hermetic, hermetic. Should have 40. We have zero. So a very, very simple service call, guys. Very basic, very elementary. All right, so we got the new capacitor here, 40 plus 5. We're going to test it. Chickens. Or that would be a rooster. Excuse me. Common to Herm Hermetic.
We have 39.66, that'll work. Common to fan. We have 4.997, so that'll work. Okay, we're gonna get it mounted in place. I bought a new camera, I bought a GoPro with a alligator clip mount, and I cannot find anywhere to mount this thing to where I can get y'all a good shot. So, I'm gonna have to do this one the old way. All right, so we have the new capacitor in place, all wired up. Let's see if it'll fire up. We have the machine back up and running. It's pulling good hot heat, and uh, it's a, I can tell it's a, the data tag is pretty worn off, but I can see that it's a CKL 42, and it's the first two numbers on the serial number are 05, so it's a 05. But I cannot see. I do know it's R22, but I cannot see what the compressor amps are supposed to be. That's all gone. So are the fan motor amps. I can't see any of that. But I'm just taking an amp draw on the compressor. That's just the compressor at 16 amps. That's probably within range on a three and a half ton, especially an older machine like this. And then we go to the fan motor and we're at about 0.9. I would imagine that that would be in range also 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. That should be in range. They usually call for like 1.2. So that should be fine. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take uh, take these gauges here, and I'm just I don't suspect it I don't suspect it to be low on refrigerant. So I'm just going to check it with these. It's pulling good hot air. Uh, the suction line is nice and cool. Of course, that's not scientific. So y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but she said it was cooling fine and then it just stopped, which is a sign of a capacitor. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna check the pressures here just to make sure they're close to where they need to be. So we've gotten authorization to clean the coil and uh, and uh, top off the charge. She wants it working right. So we're going to do that. I think I can prop you guys up right here for that. And yes, I'm going to wash it from the outside in. It's a single roll coil. If you don't like that, you keep the comments to yourself. I know it works.
Okay, so we got her clean. The bearings not sound too heavy in the fan motor. We got a brand new jug of liquid gold R22. We're gonna zero out the scale on my phone. after the wash we were at 275 we're below 225 right now and we're almost at 70 pounds of suction pressure so we'll take it to a pound pound of freon refrigerant whatever you want to call it 75 pounds of suction, a little over 225 on the head. We're gonna let that sit a minute. All right, guys, my battery's going dead on the GoPro. We took it to a pound, six ounces. Got about 75 pounds of suction. And a little over 225 on the head. About 235 on the head. I'm good with that. Hopefully she'll get a little life out that motor. The bearings don't sound too healthy. But it's clean. We lowered the head pressure. Put a little gas in it. She should be good to go.